It was a quiet morning in Lockerbie Friday, the little Scottish town devastated when an American passenger plane came down in the skies overhead just before Christmas back in 1988. The British government was warning it wants things to stay quiet in Libya, too, exactly one year after the man convicted in connection with the bombing of Pan Am Flight 103 returned home to a hero's welcome in Tripoli. The Foreign Office said in a statement any celebration of freedom for Abdel Basit al-Megrahi on the anniversary of his release would be tasteless, offensive, and deeply insensitive. Al-Megrahi had been freed from a Scottish prison on compassionate grounds because he was said to have been terminally ill with cancer. But a year on, he's still alive, and the controversy over his release has been growing. Bob Minetti, whose son was one of 179 Americans who died when the Boeing 747 blew up over Scotland, is angry and outraged. One of the things that we were assured by everybody is that this guy would serve out his term in Scotland. And if he just got compassionate release, he would have been released to a hospice in Scotland. But instead, they sent him home to a hero's welcome in Libya, and it was really crummy. Scottish Chief Executive Alex Salmon, however, still defends the decision to release al Megrahi. At the end of the day, I think I'd rather be First Minister of a society which had too much compassion than be First Minister of a country with too little compassion. And local residents like David Goodwin don't buy the argument that BP's $900 million oil exploration deal with Libya was a factor in al Megrahi's release either. I think that's just maybe just propaganda, I don't know, after the, the big oil spill in America. I think, I may be cynical, but I think that's just maybe a U.S. having a go at the BP. It's one of many points on which there's disagreement on both sides of the Atlantic over the whole Lockerbie disaster. And a year after al Megrahi's release, the dissension appears to be growing, not lessening. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.